everyone and welcome to I believe the eighth annual Nordstrom Anniversary Tryon Haul. This one is different than in previous years because of a glitch in the Nordstrom system the day the preview went live where we were only supposed to be able to look but not buy for almost two hours. There was a window open where people were able to check out and purchase things. So I did my own version of Nordstrom Supermarket Sweep and threw just a crazy amount of things into the cart and ordered it for overnight shipping and Nordstrom honored those purchases as long as they were made with a Nordstrom credit card. Film that part of the try-on at home and then I'm filming this Wednesday afternoon on the 12th. That was my assigned day to shop as an ambassador level credit card holder. So I went in at 8 a.m. this morning, did some more try-on, did that footage there. So let's sit back and relax. We'll go to Nordstrom together and then we'll come home, do that try on together and then I will finish it up with a quick haul walkthrough of beauty and the shoes that I picked up. You ready? Get comfortable. Let's go shopping. Okay friends, here we go with the first outfit. So if you watched me last year, this top should look familiar. It's from One State, comes in several colors, black and white being the key ones and then maybe one or two colors. And I passed on this last year and regretted it. So. I'm gonna buy it this year. I'm wearing it in the small 34D, so just for reference. And I will put my current measurements on screen and down in the description box to help you figure out how it would look on you. I love the detail on the sleeve, and I also love that it's not bulky, so if I wanna throw a jacket over it as it gets cool outside, I can. Really nice ribbing detail here. And then the jeans, I'm finally trying on the cut from the cloth jeans. It's been a few years since I've tried them and I get the hype. So I'm wearing a size four. I would say these run very big. They're stretchy. I don't know if it's translating on screen, but these are making me look way thinner than I am. Um, they're not too tight. Like they fit perfectly. There's no, no gaping in the waist, but wow. I don't think I would size down. I think they, I, I think even if they loosen up a little over time, just add a belt, but I don't want them super tight. I love that they're kind of a skinny jean with a, I'd say a slim straight leg. So if you've been missing the skinny jeans, these are a great option. These are from the mother brand that everyone raves about and they didn't have these in a 28. These are size 27 and they're not, I mean, they're snug. They're definitely snug. I know they will give, um, this is the Dazzler cut, so it's a mid-rise. My belly button is right there. I do like my jeans a little looser on me, so that's a personal thing. I would say that the mother jeans definitely run true to size because I do have a 27 inch waist currently, although that's up here. <laughs> this sits, you know, obviously lower. So this is what they look like. I am on the fence, but I wanted you to see how they fit. They are slim fitting here, and then they are more of a straight leg. They definitely fit like a skinny jean in the thighs and then more of a straight leg from the knee down. Let's try on something else. Another brand, another totally different fit and different size. These are from AG and the ex-boyfriend slims, possibly my top three favorite jeans. That's not what these are. This is another very popular cut called the Mari. And as you can see, it's more of a slim straight style. I'm wearing these in a 28 with AG jeans, I can tell you. You definitely wanna size up one. So you saw how the 27s fit in the other brand and these are 28 and they fit very similarly. I will say these are more comfortable. These are to the belly button, I would say, if you're my height anyway, my torso length. And the length is a little long for a straight jean. I would prefer it to go a little bit higher. I do like this wash. Let me show you the pocket placement on the rear end. There we go. So far for me, the standouts are the cut from the cloth. I'm gonna have to explore more <laughs> from that section. Okay, some more cut from the cloth options for you. Same size, size four, slightly different wash. And I really like these as well. It's gonna be tricky to narrow it down. And I'm wearing just a normal length. I am wearing obviously heels, but you can see they're, they stop at a good length as well. You do a little cuff. Cuffs aren't completely out. You know, if you're wearing something that's a little higher up on the ankle, just a little subtle cuff isn't the end of the world. But I gotta tell you, cut from the cloth is coming out as the star here. 
and it's it's outpacing the premium denim. At the end of the day, I don't care how much they are, they have to feel good. And these are really soft, really comfortable. They, I think I look good in them. And so that's what's gonna win at the end of the day. I don't care what the brand name is. It's how do I feel in them and how do they make me look? And they make my butt look good. These are from Frame and I'll be honest, I did not wanna like these. <laughs> these are premium these are a little more expensive i love them especially because they are cropped like a stepped hem which i've never worn a stepped hem before but when i wear start wearing booties these will work really well with booties and they're a wearable crop i feel like they don't cut me off in a weird way oh i love these and i know that frame jeans do stretch over time and they're very stretchy so i know people love their mother jeans but i gotta tell you i'm more of a frame jeans girl and i love these that's the pocket placement on the tush. There's the back. These are going in the keep pile. I am wearing the famed Mother Hustler jeans. Every influencer I know raves about this cut. I'm wearing it in a 27 and I can tell you from my experience in the few pairs I've just tried on from Mother that I would size up. So even though I'm a 27 inch waist, I'm thinking the 28s are gonna be better. These babies are snug, super snug. Of course, that also means it's sucking in my gut, but they're snug enough that I'm not gonna reach for them. It's really hard to see because they're super dark wash. They're not actually black. They're like a deep midnight, dark, 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 dark blue. I think they're beautiful in concept. I don't know if I, they have a 28 in the store, but my reference for y'all is size up one in mother and age. Okay, let's play with some tops. So this is from Halogen. It's a faux wrap. I mean, it does unbutton here, but it's got, it doesn't completely open up and then the back is normal. So it just opens here. It doesn't turn into a full on wrap. It's sort of like a, a half wrap. It's quite pretty. I want you to see the cuffs. Let me play with these for you. So this is how the cuff looks. It's buttoned. And then as you can see, I folded it over for like a slightly different look. I'm wearing this one in a size small. Look at the back. See how it drapes down? It runs, I would say, kind of big. There's a lot of extra fabric here. I'm gonna see if they have the extra small, just because I feel like this should be a little less fabric in this area. It just might be the way that this blouse is cut. I did go ahead and find this halogen wrap top, and I should say there is a tiny little hidden snap right here. I found it in the extra small, and I would say definitely size down one in this top. This fits so much better. There's still plenty of room for my chest. It drapes much prettier. It lays flat against my stomach. It's not adding. I mean, yeah, if I turn to the side, it's not the most flattering. <laughs> I'll give you that. But overall, it's just, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful blouse. And these jeans are a super, super dark wash. They're not actually black, although it almost looks like there's black lines running in it. So this kind of works together, but look how cute this would be with like just straight black denim, black pants. Absolutely gorgeous if you work in an office. This is a with pants, not jeans. Beautiful look. Okay, I have two tops from Vince Camuto, similarly patterned. It's this tone on tone sort of, I think it's called a jacquard. And the first is, it's, I'm just gonna call it what it's called. It's called a pussy bow collar. Let's just call it a bow collar. And this does untie. I'll show it to you in a second, untie. I did a little front tuck just so you can see. But that's the length. It does come in several other colors as well. But I see myself wearing this for more obviously conservative events. So I'm gonna go with the black. I love it, wearing it in a size small. And if you just wanna wear it open at the neck, you certainly can. And it looks like that. You could even tie it like in a little loose V here and tie the bow a little bit lower, make it look more like a necklace. So it's, it's kind of versatile. But this pattern, I'm gonna try it on in a different cut in a different color so you can see that pattern. But I love this. I think it's just one of those outfit staples that. It's great to have in your closet. You can pull for a variety of occasions. So definitely taking this one home. Okay, we need to talk about this shirt because these are things you're not gonna pick up from seeing it online. First of all, the pattern is beautiful, this tone on tone. And this this pattern or color comes in the other shirt I just showed you. But okay, so what I didn't realize is there are shoulder pads and they're not subtle. I'm not upset with that. Like I think it's kind of cool and I think shoulder pads are great, especially if you have broader hips, this will balance out the hips and emphasize more of an hourglass figure. But why I'm not gonna buy this, it's the buttons. These are tiny little fabric covered buttons in tiny little buttonholes. I can't, I, I've been fumbling 
with trying to get this button for a good five minutes. I'm sorry if it's, I don't care how beautiful something is, if you can't get it on and off easily, it's a no. And the cuffs are the same thing. So if you can't squeeze your hands through that and you're gonna have to button it on your own, you're gonna lose your mind. So unless you are incredibly nimble with your fingers, I would pass on this one and just get the short sleeve ready. I have told y'all over and over that I think everyone should have some sort of denim or chambray shirt in their closet. You can wear it as an over shirt, almost like a lightweight denim jacket. It works well with any kind of pants where you're like, I have nothing that goes with it. This will always go. Now this is not tensile. This is like more of a true cotton lightweight denim fabric, but it still has a nice drape to it. I'm wearing it in a size small. Caslon runs usually a little oversized and I would say go with your true size. You want a more oversized fit. It's not so oversized that you can't tuck it in if you wanted to. It's not gonna be too much fabric. It's not gonna get too bulky, but it's great if you wanna wear it over leggings, over skinny jeans. I like that it has the slit on the side so it's better movement that way. It's just one of those things that you're not gonna see it and go, oh, that's beautiful. But it's one of those pieces you will buy and you will wear, and that is more important. If you don't already have a shirt like this in your closet, this is the time to grab it because it's, un it's 45 bucks, which is a really good price too. I think this is it for the tops. This is just a really fun soft sweater. It's from Topshop, cable knit, functional zip, little, you know, sorry, my hair, you know, it could zip all the way up if you wanted it to. And it does come in more, let's say sedate colors, but I love this green. It's happy. I'm happy in it. I would not size down. I know it's a little bit bigger, but I love this fit. It's so soft. I'm surprised at how soft it is. You could still do a little front tuck. Not everything has to be super fitted like these jeans. I love it and it's just such a happy, fun color. Last of the try-on, aren't these fun? These are the Nordstrom brand Moonlight Pajamas, wearing them in a size small. There's no pockets, I keep doing this. Uh, if this very interesting print is not up your alley, it's okay. They come in plenty of solids and some more interesting prints as well. I would say it's very generously sized. I'm wearing it in a size small. It's pretty big. It's dragging on the floor just a little bit, so they're kind of big on me. But I want to use the, the fabric is luscious. Definitely would be great for loungewear. And I like the cut and the drape and everything. I think if you know me, you know that I need another pair of pajamas, like I need a hole in the head. Um, but these are lovely if you're a big fan. They have new patterns this year and this is one of them. All right, so let's get to the at-home part. So first up, the one thing I was the most excited for is this Barefoot Dreams loungewear set. I have another set by them that I ordered in a previous sale. They excel at so many things, but their loungewear is exquisite. And this one is a much lighter weight fabric. So the fabric itself isn't heavy, but you still get that nice level of warmth. This comes in three colors. And when I checked this morning, the driftwood, which is the color I'm wearing, was sold out in the extra small and the small, but still had the larger sizes available. And there was, it seemed like, pretty full sizing on the other two colors. So as far as sizing goes on this loungewear set, I would say it's true to size, but if you are in between sizes, especially for the pants, size up one. So I'm wearing mine in a size small. And when I initially put it on fresh out of the package, it was a little snug around the hips, but honestly walking from my bedroom to the foyer to film this, it loosened up. I wouldn't say stretched, but it loosened up a bit. But I think if you're in between sizes, size up one. I have a couple of dresses to share with you. This first one doesn't look like much on the hanger. And I did steam this before I put it on, but when you put it on, it is exquisite. I love everything about this dress. I feel like it has all these little details that you would see on something far more expensive. I love the midi length, but it has a really nice slit in it to allow for movement. It doesn't look as fussy, but it's not an indecent slit and where you can sit down, be comfortable. Everything is still going to be covered up. I love the ruching and the draping across the stomach. It is so figure flattering. And I need to talk about the tie at the top because you would think that if you untie it, it just opens at the shoulder, but it's a full dress. I mean, it looks like this on the dress. And then it has extra fabric that it's just, it's a faux tie. It, it unties, but it's not gonna open. There's nothing open underneath it. So all it's gonna do is maybe pull the fabric a little bit and maybe make it a little bit more snug if you need to loosen up or tighten the way it drapes. Everything about it is great. Side zip. I will say the fabric is on the lighter side, which is 
why it definitely needed a good steam before wearing. But I'm pointing that out because if it's something you wanted to wear now, you easily could. This next dress is a standout because I just love how it looks. I really liked how it looked online, but I am loving how it fits me. However, I do need to caution you. It's a true shirt dress. So it's a full button from the collar to the hem. The whole thing opens if you want, and that's all well and good. But the tricky part is right at the actual natural waist. There's a hidden snap to really snatch in your waist. And that sucker is snug. I have a 27 inch waist. I'm wearing a size small. I don't want to size up on it though, because of the, all the fabric and the draping, I feel like the next size up would be too big. I wish they had had it in my store to try on in a medium so I could compare. I just couldn't find it. I will say this, it is not 100% necessary to snap that hidden snap because there is the tie belt that's attached that would cover it. Worst case scenario, don't snap the snap. Check your sizing against their size chart. Otherwise, I would say this is my current favorite dress in my closet. I did share a lot of this ahead of time over on Instagram stories, and it was fascinating to see which pieces got the most clicks. This very basic V-neck cotton sweater was the most clicked on item of all the things that I shared. Comes in quite a few colors. I really love this mushroomy, taupey beige color because it's cotton, it's lightweight, it's drapey, it's a nice basic to have. It is a slightly longer length. I would not say it is long enough to wear on its own with leggings, but that is my personal preference. I'm wearing it with a pair of jeans that are in the sale in a different wash. These are the AG Ex-Boyfriend Slim Slouchy Jeans. The ones that are in the sale this year have distressing on the knees. These do not, but they fit the same. And with AG jeans, I would say size up one. So while I'm a 27 inch waist, the 28s on me fit much better. And that's the general rule of thumb with AG jeans. And I am wearing them with these booties. These are this year's version of the pointed toe booty. I love them. I will say that the notch on each side is a lot lower than in years past. So it might be a little tricky to wear socks. You'd have to get some super low no-shows, but I'll be perfectly honest. Well, I'm always perfectly honest, even to my detriment. I never wear socks with these kind of booties anyway. I didn't with last year's version. So for me, it's a non-issue, but I did want to point that out there. And these run true to size, super comfortable. And they do come in other colors if you don't like this mushroom color. Now this next sweater is also from one of the Nordstrom House brands, Treasure and Bond. And this one is definitely long enough to wear with leggings, wear with skinny jeans or more slim straight jeans. And I was afraid it was gonna be itchy. There was just something about it that looked like it would scratch. It's very soft. I love the slightly different texture to it, the seams on the shoulders. I love how it lies. I think this would look great with the Spanx faux leather leggings that are also in the sale and some booties. For right now, I normally wouldn't wear it with the jeans I'm sharing it with, but I just wanna give you an idea of the length and how it fits. Here is another piece I was really excited about. This denim blazer is such a cool concept. I love blazers. I feel like this is the year that blazers have sort of supplanted cardigans as the piece to throw over just about everything. And this denim one makes everything just casual. It's sort of like a souped up denim jacket in a much more sophisticated version. I do want to point out a couple of things though. This is described as an hourglass blazer and you can see it has, you know, a flare at the hips. It goes in at the waist. I love that. However, it is not oversized. So I got it in my true size small. It is snug in the arms, not so much that I can't get it over something lighter weight like this, but anything that has any weight or bulk to it, it's going to get too snug. So if you want that oversized look or you have arms that are more oversized yourself, you would probably want to size up. It has functional pockets, but it is a cool kind of spin on a very business casual suiting look if that's something that you're interested in. And I kind of love that look. But if you're looking for a blazer to throw over a tank top, a t-shirt, a pair of jeans, joggers, this is definitely the blazer that will work in all of those situations. As far as the splurge item that I kept, it is this Cinquecet Navy Tweed Blazer. It is exquisite. Is it the tailoring, the lining, the pockets, the way it drapes? I love Walmart clothing. You know that. I love Maurice's. I love Amazon. But every once in a while, you splurge on something and you go, okay, I get, I get it. I see a distinct difference. And definitely a distinct difference 
in the fabric and the tailoring and all the things in this blazer. This navy tweed is never gonna go out of style. I can reach for this 10, 15 years from now, throw it over a white shirt and jeans or a pair of anything, a dress. I'm gonna reach for this over and over and over. At least that's how I'm justifying it to myself. I love it. So if this happens to be in your budget and you're on the fence, you will not be disappointed. It is so beautiful. And I would say, get your true size. I'm wearing mine in a size four. Would it be a Nordstrom anniversary sale without me picking up a rail shirt? This is a rail shirt that I've picked up in a previous Nordstrom sale. This one is the one I picked up from this year. This one, I'm wearing it in a size small and it, it's very, I mean, I'm not popping out of it. I'm not stretching the buttons or anything. The 34 Ds are fitting in it, but it's much more slim fitting. And I feel like it's easier to wear untucked. I prefer the size medium. It's a little roomier. There's a little more room to tuck it in. It's a little more versatile, I feel. So if you're on the fence, I would say size up one because it does run narrow in the shoulders and in the chest as well. But oh, this fabric, it is delightful. And if you haven't splurged on a Rails shirt yet, this might be the time to do it. If this print isn't for you, I think there's four or five other options in all kinds of colors including something very similar to this one as well. The other most clicked on item, aside from that V-neck cotton sweater, was this entire outfit. So first we have a cashmere hoodie. That was probably my second biggest splurge. I am really into cashmere. I'm just gonna let you know that as we move into the cooler months, you're gonna see me talk about cashmere a lot more. I'm gonna be looking for more of it, but right now I love the idea of something that's usually a little more formal when you think of cashmere, putting something extremely casual, athleisure, if you will, into this hoodie. I'm wearing it in a size small. I didn't want it big and oversized. I want there to be room, but I wanted it to be a little more struck, not structured, but a little more put together looking. And I paired it with another standout for me. I feel like I bought a pair of these years before. I can't find it anywhere in my house. These are the Zella, I think they're the live-in pocket joggers. They are amazing. I get why it has the reviews that it has. The material is so soft. Back to the hoodie and the joggers, true to size. The Zella joggers run a little more slimming in the legs. I wouldn't say that they're skinny joggers or anything, so don't size up, but they're not as voluminous in the legs as some of the other joggers I've shared before, but still stick with your true size there. And then I have two, let's just call them outerwear pieces. The first is this faux leather bomber jacket. Bomber jackets are huge this year. They're kind of like, this year's version of the motorcycle jacket. And they have a lot of motorcycle jackets in the sale. It's just not my thing. So you're not gonna see me recommending them. But this bomber jacket I liked because it was oversized and it was longer and it's kind of a unique color. It has some tone on tone stitching to give it a little bit of depth. I would say go with your true size. It does fit roomy, but not too big. So you can layer a sweater under it, especially if you're living somewhere where it really does get colder. I'm wearing mine in a size small. And then this last piece that I have to show to you from home. I'm so excited I picked up because I wanted it last year and it sold out right away. And I feel like not only did they bring it back this year, I feel like they added more colors. So I love this cashmere poncho from the Nordstrom line. Initially I thought I was gonna go with a tan or camel. It's like the ultimate neutral. But I saw this in store actually in this gorgeous sort of olive hunter green. And it's, I keep using the word luscious. It's so lightweight, like it, the fabric itself is so thin and it's flowy, but it's cashmere. So it's gonna be warm. It actually adjusts, it's very breathable. That's the beautiful thing about cashmere is you could probably go outside in cashmere right now and you wouldn't get too hot, but you can wear it in the winter time and it's gonna keep you warm. It's sort of magical. But what's neat about this is, I didn't realize it till I got it home, is it has hidden snaps on each side under the arm. So if you wanted to wear it open or you wanted to wear it more like a scarf or even wrap it around you like a blanket, you could absolutely do that. So I love the versatility of this. The price point for cashmere is pretty good too. So let's walk through a few more of the shoes. I already showed you one of them. I ordered this year's version of the chain loafer mule from Steve Madden. They brought back the kind of like more of an antique rose gold and changed it up just a little bit from years past. It's not quite as pointy, but it's it's more of a almond toe, I would say. Again, your true size in Steve Madden here. And then I had initially passed on these when I saw them, but then I saw these in store, really good price point. I had passed on these because I thought this deep kind of V part, the toe cleavage area, if you will, I thought this was gonna fall right off my foot. But when I tried it on in store, I was pleasantly surprised However, these run wide, so I would say size down half. I tried on the sevens, 
I walked right out of them. So go one half size down. I feel like Goldilocks size six and a half worked. It was tricky to pick a color. They have a, an off-white that's beautiful, also comes in black and a sky blue. And am I shocked that this is the color I bought? I, I am not, at least I am consistent in my tastes. Staying consistent. You saw these in the try-on, both at home and in the store. These are from Dolce Vita, probably my favorite shoe brand. This part is so squishy and soft. You just feel like you're wearing clouds. And I love the tiny platform. I'm usually not a platform girl because they're usually like this. This is nice and subtle, stacked heel, so it's not quite as high as you think it is when you're walking around because you have the platform to offset this part. I did also pick up another pair of booties in the store. I love this brand, Blondo. I have bought boots from them before. What I love about them, as you can see by the tag, they're waterproof. So even though they're suede, I can wear these in the rain. We don't get snow here, but we do get a good amount of rain in the winter months. And so I'm so glad I can wear a cute suede booty and not worry about ruining them. I love the lug sole. And I love the kind of texture to it. I haven't played with this buckle to see if it's functional or not, but these I would say also run on the larger side and I'm a six and a half in these. And then the shoe I am most excited about is honestly this one. This one's from Karl Lagerfeld. I've never picked up anything from this brand before. This is obviously very Chanel inspired, except that it is a sneaker instead of a ballet flat, and it is a more pointed toe, which I feel is a more flattering shape on many, many people, myself included. It does come in an all black version, and there might be one other one. I just loved this contrast. It's super comfortable. I picked up mine, I wanna say in a seven, and I probably could have sized down to a six and a half. I'm just gonna put a little heel insert right here and then I won't have to worry about slipping, but really comfortable and I think a really cute alternative to the typical sneaker with joggers and athleisure and I can't wait to style these. Of course, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff in beauty. Let's start with what's on my lips. I picked up the YSL lipstick duo and these are full size lipsticks and they're like a lip oil balm. They do look like regular lipsticks. These are so lush, they feel so, I gotta stop saying luscious. That's the drinking word of the day, guys. They are so lightweight. It feels like I'm putting a lip oil on instead of an actual something that comes out of a bullet. Absolutely beautiful, so wearable, I love that. Normally, when you get lipsticks in the anniversary sale, they put one good color in and then a couple of colors you're never gonna wear. Both of these are very wearable. This is the darker version, the Lighter one is even more wearable if you prefer more neutral, lighter shades. Then I also picked up this tiny, how cute is this? I love these little, I love the branding. I love what they do for the anniversary sale. This is from MAC. It's the Best Kept Kiss Mini Lipstick Trio. And this is what I'm talking about. So they're very cute. They're very tiny, which I'm okay with because I rarely use a whole bullet up. But two of these for me are wearable. One of them, not so much, but it's a good price point and it was fun to check them out for you. So I'm not disappointed, but it is important for you to see what you're getting so that you can decide if it's worth it for you. I also picked up more of these slip scrunchies, the mini ones, the super skinny ones. If you have thin, fine hair and scrunchies fall out of your hair, try the skinny ones. They are fantastic. I sleep in these every single night. Well, not these, these are still in the box, but I sleep in the ones I got last time. So I just wanted to add $44 for 10. That is an amazingly good deal. Sticking with hair, I didn't buy this. They actually, the brand sent it to me. This is a two pack of the Aquis, Aquis, I don't know what you call it, hair towel. It's the turban kind of thing. So it actually comes with the elastic. You put it on like that, twist it up, and then <laughs> the back goes through this loop here so it stays in place. Not like this, obviously. I love this. It does really take a lot of the moisture out of your hair quickly. I've used other microfiber brands and I love them but there's something about this one that is, honestly, it's a little bit better as far as getting the moisture out of your hair. So I'm really glad they sent me that and I've been putting it to good use. This I was excited about because this is what I use every day. This is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, two pack, good price, full size. Very excited to top up my collection. Oh, I haven't unboxed this yet. It's super heavy, but the Nest Reed Diffuser Duo that they have every year in the sale, it's the grapefruit and bamboo. This will scent up a powder bath so effectively. So 
I am just about done with the ones from last year, so I will be unboxing these and probably starting with grapefruit. It's a very summery scent. I do like changing up my shampoo from time to time, like cycle through a different brand every time I use one up. So when I saw this in the store, this is a really good big size with the pump of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner that I have used for years. It's been a little while, so I Grab this, but I'm most excited about the Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. This is the Advanced Clean dry shampoo. And I've heard from quite a few people that not only does this give you volume and all the things that dry shampoo should do, it actually cleans dirty hair. So this is one I'm gonna reserve for those days where I really should have washed my hair, but for whatever reason I didn't, that's what I'm gonna use this one for. And then I did go ahead and get this Bobbi Brown palette. It's so pretty, just the outside of it. And the inside is gorgeous, all very wearable colors. It, I saw it in the store and the two shades I reached for to swatch myself had the most fingerprints in it. So we're all kind of reaching for these two shades at the bottom, the top, the way I'm showing it to you. And this one over here, the shimmer shades are gorgeous. The mattes are very wearable. I'm very excited to play with this. And it did come with, um, a full-size mascara as well. So that's everything I have to share with you from in-store and at home. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of the items that I have shown. I will also link to my website that has all of my recommendations. I didn't want this video to be over an hour, so I'm gonna stop it here, but just know that I'm available to answer your questions. If you need me to see a question right away, the best way to get my attention the fastest is over on Instagram. You can send me a DM over at, at Ms. Gold Girl, and I will happily help you out Thank you so much for hanging out during my annual epic Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. This is probably the end of the Nordstrom content, so don't worry, we're getting back to normal. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun. Good luck with your own shopping. Let me know what you got, and I'll see you in the next one.